All right, guys, we've got uh, Kincaid Dent here first. Go ahead again, raise your hand. I'll call you on, uh, call on you for the first question. David Johnson, go ahead. Hey, Kincaid, I wanted to see if I could get you to talk about just your development since you got to Ole Miss. Uh, how much weight have you put on? How much strength have you added? And uh, just talk about uh, what you've learned playing the quarterback position. Um, well, as far as like weight, uh, gaining weight, uh, I came in at like 176. And I'm like right at 200 right now. So um, I put on close to about, you know, 24 pounds. So that's a good bit about still trying to get even higher than that. Um, just trying to put a little bit more on the frame, but um, I mean, other than that, that's kind of gone along with the strength, you know, just gaining the weight um, has helped me also with, you know, throwing balls and too, so like, and getting stronger. But um, as far as like learning in the quarterback room, um, I mean, as far as you know, is like how well um, two has done this past year. I mean, I'm trying to be in there just as much as he is. So, um, I mean, like learning the quarterback is, is um, I mean, it's really helped. These coaches have been a tremendous help for me and him and just like knowing what we need to do, what we need to read, defenses, getting everybody on the offensive right. Um, so, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's been, it's been a huge, the staff has been huge for us. What, what kind of mentor has Matt Corral been for you? Um, he's been a great mentor. I mean, he's one of my, I mean, he's one of my best friends. I mean, we were, we're together every day, you know, I give him rides home all the time. And, um, so, I mean, we, we talk about, we talk ball every day, uh, when, when it's just me and him. And then, um, you know, we're, we're in the room together all, all the time too. We sit right next to each other. I mean, you know, I, we always joke around and play with each other, but I mean, it's, you know, it's serious too. So, I mean, like it's, I mean, we're always trying to learn that position as, as much as possible. Cause I mean, that's, you know, that's how, as what good as our coaches are, you know, we're just trying to get to their level, honestly. How is Luke Altmeyer fitting in with you guys? Luke's doing well. I mean, he, he, he's young and he's, you know, he can, you know, he's kind of, you know, he's supposed to be in high school still, but I mean, the strides that he's taken, I wish, you know, my freshman year, I would have had, you know, Matt and me in my place because like, Luke's, you know, really been able to ca catch on well with like just the way that me and Matt carry ourselves. Like he's been able to, he's really, you know, you can tell he's really mature as a player, like as a person too. And um, I mean, he's, he's been, he's been catching on well. Thanks. Paris, go ahead. Hey, Kincaid, can you talk a little bit about the competition behind Matt and, and what kind of spring you're having? Um, I think I'm having a pretty good spring developing. Um, the competition wise, I mean, as I mean, as far as I know, Matt's you know Matt's the guy here. Everyone knows that he's a you know he's the team leader. Um, he's doing really well. Um, you know, I'm taking most of the two all the you know two spot reps, um, and so and then you know we get you know we try to get Luke as much as many reps as he as he can. But um, as as far as that, that's all. I mean, that's all I really know. Now, you are not as highly recruited, I guess, highly rated with recruiting stars and that sort of thing as some other quarterbacks on the roster. Has that changed how you approach? Do you feel like you have to work harder uh, to be noticed? I mean, what's, what's that like uh, for you? Yeah, I, I would say that I would have to work harder. I mean, it, it kind of just puts a chip on my shoulder, really. But, um, I mean, uh, I mean, it kind of, you know, sticks behind me. And But, I mean, you know, like, you know, if you can play, I mean, regardless, if you get a, you know, if you get a spot at the next level, you know, you can always prove that you're the, you know, you can play. And so once you get here, and that was, that was my plan all along. I never really tried to like have recruiting stars and stuff like hold me back. Like I just knew I was going to come up here and, you know, work, you know, work as hard as I could to where, I mean, it really didn't matter whether or not I had stars or not if I was going to play. So that's kind of what the mentality I take behind it. Thanks. Neil, go ahead. Hey, Kincaid, I was wondering just the continuity in the offense after you guys had a full season and now you've got a spring. Can you, for guys like you and Matt who've been in this offense for a little while, can you tell there's a, a new comfort level as opposed to maybe back in the fall? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the biggest things about it, which I tell, you know, people around that people ask me is, um, 
you know, it's, it's year two in this offense. You know, me and Matt know this. I mean, this offense, I mean, we're kind of learning like the secondary, I mean, like the, the stuff that you really would learn, you know, year two and three. So, like, I mean, it's it's been a huge help because, like, my freshman year, I, I mean, I've never had an offensive coordinator for longer than a year. So, and Matt, you know, he's been through three. So, this is his first year being with two, I mean, in a year two in an offense. So, I mean, it's it's a huge help for us offensively. And it's been it's been a help all, also for a lot of players on um, a lot of the wideouts. It's been a lot easier for them because they're in year two of it as well. So um, it's been good. I like it. I know it's cliche, but it's it's true nonetheless. I mean, Matt's the guy, obviously, but you know, you're always if you're the backup, you're always one play away from going in and, and having to the, you know a, a team on your shoulders. Is that a mental approach that you're kind of getting yourself prepared for? Yes, sir. I am. I mean. I mean, that's, that's pretty a short answer. I mean, that's, that's all I'm, that all is, that's all Levy talks to me about is just like, you know, being able to take control of this team when I need to. And um, like, you know, being prepared for that because that's, a, I mean, that's a, something that can very likely happen in a quarterback position. Thanks. David, go ahead. Hey, I'm sorry. Neil covered my question. Okay, you're good. I'm good. Any other questions for Kincaid? All right, Kincaid, appreciate it. Thank y'all.